Hello there guys, it is the video you've all been waiting for. We have looked at every single position so far, but this is the final one that we're looking at, and it is the strikers. Now we have got a wide range of strikers here, and these are my top 10 strikers. So starting off with the most expensive, as you can see here, is 20 galores all over here. It's Christian Vieri, 22 million. This guy does move. People do get him. So you need to just keep an eye on him because he does tend to get unhappy as this season goes onwards. 22 million is a lot of money. You do need to be a big club to get this guy with a decent transfer budget. So don't think that you can just get him being someone like here that I am now, Aston Villa. There is no way that you're going to get him. Um, so moving down, Rude Van Nisseroy. I can't believe Rude actually is less expensive or 10 million ex less expensive than Vieri. Uh, Van Nistelrooy, you know, it's because he's only just joined. Van Nistelrooy is an absolutely, he's just an animal on this game. He's an absolute animal. You won't be able to buy him. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you now. Um, if you want Van Nistelrooy, you do need to be Manchester United and start that game off as him. But he will find you the net. I just imagine um, Van Nistelrooy and some other players, I'm not going to say the names just yet, uh, and a few of those put together. Um, as they go on in a team and it would be absolutely phenomenal it's something that I actually want to do I think you just simply clean up everything Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup everything would be yours by the end of it uh, so Van Nistelrooy is definitely someone to look out for he will bag you at least 30 goals a season Next one is Jermaine Defoe, 18 years of age, 3.1 million. Um, you may have seen a video the other day looking at my wingers where I looked at Joe Cole and I said to him, and I said to you guys about West Ham being relegated. Uh, that is pretty much the same for Jermaine Defoe. You need to really watch out to see if West Ham do get relegated. Even though he doesn't have a stipulation in his contract which says um, he's got a fee for if they get relegated, he will be unhappy about being in Division 1. So just keep an eye out for him. I, like I said before with Joe Cole, just put him on your shortlist and then you can see who's bidding for him you can see if he's unhappy and so on next one is Cissé many people get Cissé on this game 1.9 million from Auxerre he is a good player to be fair um, but you know you are going to be paying I mean he's probably more of the expensive strikers and I mean for his age of 19 you can kind of see why because he is a player for the future but as we go down this list of strikers you'll see that there are more and more strikers who cost Less amount, less amount of money, who are better than I like to see say on this game. Um, so he really is your choice if you think he fits in to your squad, or if you're a Liverpool, Liverpool fan for that matter, and you know you want him in there, you know, go for it. Uh, next one as we go down, Cherno Samba, a bit of a legend on uh, Championship Manager 0102. Um, he is a pretty good player, to be fair. 16 years of age. You can see his stats are sort of developing already. Uh, 425 grand. You do need to spend a bit of money to get Cherno Samba, but you know he's one that's going to be there for you for the next, God, about 15 years or so. You know, he is a good player on this game. And one who I recommend that you get, even if it's, it's not a case of putting him in straight away, you know, maybe try and loan him, maybe put him on as a sub, uh, you know, sort of watch him build up over time. Uh, but make sure that he gets that training in that he needs uh, when you do your training sessions. Next one is Bobby Zamora. Again, another 20-year-old from Brighton. 350 grand. Brighton are actually in the second division on this. So you do have a very good chance of trying to persuade this guy to come to you because he will want to move to a bigger club. 350 grand. You can see last season he scored 28 goals in 43 appearances for Brighton. He is a very, very good player, especially if you're looking for him maybe if you're in the first division. Um, he possibly is that player that can sort of accelerate you up through the league and get into the Premier League. Uh, next one as we go down is Keegan Parker. I used to buy this guy quite a bit. 70 grand from St. Johnson. He is one of the ones that sort of does get forgotten about because there's, there's going to be a couple that I'm going to show you in a minute who are the main two strikers on this game that people just go for. But actually, Keegan Parker is a very, very good striker. And I think if you took the time to, you know, sort of um, scout the player and sort of see what he's about for 70 grand, he is worth it. And he will leave St. Johnson for you. Uh, right, here we go. Maxim Tiscalgo. This guy is argued as the best player on the game, okay? Um, the first thing I would do on this game is I would scout and just get your scouts in straight away because the issue, if you don't scout the player, then you can only go up to a certain amount of your money. See here, you can only go up to 525 grand. Scout him as soon as this game starts, scout him. And then that means that you will have your budget, the whole entire of your budget ready to tackle anybody that comes in to try and buy this guy. Now, as I first started this video, as I first started this game, sorry, not a lot of people came in for him. 
But as I've sort of played as him and, you know, we see his stats growing, I, I start to notice teams like Lazio come in for him very, very quickly now. Um, I don't know if that's just simply because the more you play it, the more the computer sort of knows who is who and tries to take the players away from you straight away. But I would definitely go for him. And let's be honest, if you're watching this video, you know who this guy is. Uh, next one, again, if you're watching this video, you know who this guy is. Uh, this guy is phenomenal. He is argued possibly with Maxime as maybe the joint best two players on this game. Um, now, it, it's quite a bizarre thing because normally I'd say to you, yeah, go and buy them. And, you know, you, you're well within your reach, actually, to buy these players. If you have about £5 million in your budget, um, you know, you'll easily get Maxime and, and Tomadera in. Um I would just be careful in terms of if you do bring them both in. What I tend to do, and you know, you sort of get overexcited when you go on these forums and you see, you know, these players that you know you want to buy and you see the stats that they can do. Just sort of pace yourself with them because you will already have good players at your football club. And yeah, it's it's all well and good buying them. You know, you probably will make a profit with them. But what's going to happen there is there's probably going to be some unrest with certain really good players at your team already there. So say, for example, if I'm Manchester United and I've got Andy Cole, Dwight York, Ruud van Nisseroy, uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, four amazing strikers. Then all of a sudden I bring Tomadera and Maxime in. That's six strikers. And, you know, you're sort of twiddling your thumbs thinking, right, well, Van Nistelrooy has to play because he's phenomenal. And then I'm left with Madeira or Maxime to play. But then you've got Dwight York and Andy Cole who are questioning. You've got Solskjaer who's supposed to be a super sub who's not even getting in the team. It all becomes a bit um, of a kerfuffle. So just think very carefully. Think about your squad before you make these purchases. Last one, this guy is free. I would just buy him anyway. Um, I put him as a squad rotation player. Uh, Joe Apeva, he really does turn good on this game and he costs you absolutely nothing. And he's 18 years of age just get him that's all i'd say i wouldn't even bother scouting the guy i would just get him in straight away because he is going to be an amazing asset to your football club no matter what uh, whether you want him in as a first team player or as a rotation player it's up to you but for nothing he's kind of like you know your your Taribo west of strikers um and so i would definitely get him in right guys if you enjoyed that video please remember to hit that like button and the same as the last video if there's anyone that you think i've forgotten in terms of your top 10 strikers, please leave a comment below. I'm really interested to see who you would pick as your top 10 strikers. Right, guys, I'll see you guys later.